The actual real-life backrooms image location has been found officially, as well as the original image post of the famous backrooms image. All of it has been uncovered, and I will be diving headfirst into the entire search in this video. If you don't want to watch this whole video, I'm going to give you a quick you know, TLDR, too long didn't read version of what's gone on. The backrooms image has been found, the location of the image has been found, the original post has been found, and it's all in Wisconsin. We have new pictures, we have old pictures, we have renovation pictures, we have everything we need. And each section of this video will be me diving into each of those single parts and explaining all we have and all we know about them. I want this video to act as something of a one-stop shop for people that want to know all of the search efforts and everything that went into finding the original post and the image location in real life. So if you want to skim through the timestamps below, you can do so. You want to watch the whole thing, you can do so, whatever. I want to make this video to clear up any confusion confusion or any misinformation that's going around about the finding of the image and the location because I have all the cold hard facts from the investigation directly from the people that did the investigation. I've been kept in the loop the entire time. You'll see it all in this video. So sit back and relax. Let's connect some threads and let's get into it. The backroom's image location has been found to be at a place in Wisconsin, specifically a business in Wisconsin. And I'm not going to blast the address all over the screen for thousands of people to see. The address is out there. The name of the business is out there. But I do not want to just shine this light to millions of people. That way they're not harassed. And just as a warning, don't harass or visit this location or contact them or anything. I, I feel like I don't need to say that, but this is the internet and people are insane. Contact and stuff like that is all being handled and dealt with professionally by the investigators that located the image. Speaking of, the image, along with many, many others, have been unearthed using various methods of the Wayback Machine, reverse image searching, hashing searching, and methods that I'm honestly too dumb to understand that were completed by people smarter than me. All of the people in this investigation, I will individually credit in a second because they deserve all the praise for this. They did all the heavy lifting and I just want to give a big shout out to them. The original Backrooms image was tracked to this page where the current store that occupies the Backrooms location was showing pictures of their second story prior to that second story being remodeled. Now, the remodeling of the second floor seemed to take place because of an alleged water damaging event that happened up there and the owner wanting to turn that space into something else, an RC racetrack to be specific. So from this website archive of the blog, we also got this secondary image as well. Now, this is the first time we've ever got a secondary image of the back rooms directly from the source that wasn't created by artists or blender people or whatever. And it's definitely a backroomsy picture for sure. From this archive website, we also get the name of the company. And from there, the name of the company was looked into and searched and the owners were contacted. The wife of the actual owner believes that the backrooms image was taken sometime right before 2003 in the upstairs of the building. Now the upstairs area where the image is located was remodeled in 2003 and turned into a race car track for RC cars. Trust me, this will all make sense later when I give you the timeline. So in the simplest possible way, the backrooms image that we all know and love was taken on the second floor of a business in Wisconsin before that business was remodeled into an RC race car track. And the image was posted to their blog page in 2003, showing the area pre being remodeled. Got it? Now I'm gonna dive into the timeline of events for the search and how exactly the image was found, how the original blog post was found, and everybody else involved in the search. So essentially, here is the document that uh, is provided. It's it's public on the Virtual Carbon uh, Discord server if you want to go check it out yourself. But this goes through all the different parts of exactly how the image was found, and um, in each individual part is you know it's broken up in a nice little area for us. So Simliot ended up using OldSage.moe to search the archives of 4chan because they were pretty confident that the backrooms image that we all have seen and know and love that was circulating 4chan was definitely taken potentially before uh, 2012. So they expanded their search from 2010 to 2011 to 2012 in hopes of finding an image that kind of matched up the exact dimensions, 640 by 480. And if they did that, they could kind of cross-reference it and confirm where their image came from. So after about an entire month of 
Simleon doing all of this research and looking into these leads, they asked Liam to paste and to add these leads to a Google document. Uh, that way others could kind of look into the document and research the leads on their own time. That way, you know, more eyes are better than one set of eyes. If you're going on a search, you want more people looking. That's what happened here. And Liam kind of pasted all these into a Google doc. And all of that led to May 28th when Serrera, who is the principal investigator, who is one of the main investigators in this group, was going through the list of threads that were in the Google documents. And they were checking the hashes that were attached to the image. And essentially an image hash is a unique code that 4chan and other websites use to identify images. But since these are, you know, an old archive, some of the images were indeed broken. But on some posts, like this one right here that is linked in the document, you can see that the hash is still there and identifiable. You can see here these, these numbers and stuff. So after Serrera took the hash from this link above, they began searching other 4chan archives with that same hash to again, cross-reference the image and try to find a board or a blog post that was on Old Sage. After even more digging, uh, Serrera ended up using the archive for plebs and they found a hit with the hash dating back to 2011. And this right here is big bigger than you might think, because the original backroom's image only went back to 2012 as far as we knew, but this image that was cross-referenced and hashed goes back to the 8th of March, 2011. So that already puts us at an entire year before the original post that we thought existed. File name of this backroom's image, of this file, was unique, and it's a very important thing. The exact file name was dsc00161.jpg. And that was obviously a huge breakthrough for this investigation because that file name is unique to a specific Sony digital camera. And obviously that file name being available means that that image from that board was saved directly from the source and it wasn't saved and copied a bunch because it had the original file name. Anyways, after that, the search kind of switched to trying to find matching copies of that file name online, the DSC00161.jpg. At first there was no initial success, no cross reference references popped up and steps another investigator, Perdicious Redux steps in, who is another investigator and one of the people that was leading on the investigation. They managed to think of an idea to find the image using Twitter. So when plugging the image file name in on Twitter, this tweet was found from May 19th, 2019. FWIW, I've probably found the source image here with a link to hobbytownoshkosh.com slash the file name DSC00161. This is obviously huge because no one knew in 2019 where the actual image was, or so we thought, except this person right here, RKFG underscore me, literally found the image source right here. And they posted it in 2019 and we just found it. So shout out to you, dude. Uh, good, good work, I guess. The the link in that tweet was indeed broken, but then Perdicious ended up throwing the link into the Wayback Machine to find the earliest capture of it. And lo and behold, there was one capture from 2004. So here's the capture from July 2nd, 2004. Meaning that again, the picture was way older than we immediately thought. At first we thought it was 2012, and then we saw the 2011 post, and then we saw the tweet from 2019 linking this, which now brings us all the way back to 2004. Stay with me now. After this archived image was found, Liam and Serrera, both independently from each other, by the way, they both did this on their own, removed that file from the link, and they plugged that link into the Wayback Machine to find the website the picture originated from. From getting the address, they could find the phone number, and they could find the contact information as well, and it all went downhill from there. Until Serrera, after hours and hours and hours and days and days and weeks and months of work, ended up finding this link in the web archive. Hey, this is just post-production Brugley popping in. I just misspoke and I said Serrera found the link to this web archive. It was actually Zaft that found the link to the web archive. Small little mistake there, my bad. Now let's get back to the video, where we can finally see the original posting of the backrooms image in all of its glory from May 3rd, 2003. So as you can see right here, it's not just the backrooms image, it's also another image. Now, of course you can tell that these are dead pictures and dead images. Maybe they'll be found or remade or something. But as you can see, it's two images from this website, from the Oshkosh Hobby Town website. And it looks to be like they were going into some renovations, just like I said at the beginning. Above is the original view of the East Oval Room. Notice no windows are visible. You cannot see in the pictures the extent of the water damage, but it was there requiring all of this material to come out. Which means these two images are as of right now the only ones we have of the back rooms. And I find this image itself awesome because this is the only other angle of the back rooms that we have 
right now from the direct source. So that's pretty cool. And this website from the Wayback Machine essentially gave us the contact information and everything like that of the people that still own the building. So we can confidently say that in late spring of 2003, the backroom's image was officially firstly posted online. It was not a 4chan post originally. It was on this website from Oshkosh, the hobby town there, talking about renovations. That's where the image comes from. So Simliot, Liam, Serrera, Prodicious Redux, and Zaft are the principal investigators that spearheaded and really conducted this research and this deep dive into finding all of this information. They, they did it all and they just thankfully kept me in the loop. I really just wanna stress that I did not find this image. I did not have a huge capacity in helping find this image. I was just lucky enough to be included in the search from pretty much the beginning of the of the investigation. And to that, I just say thank you. Thank you so much for keeping me in the loop. I really appreciate it. Simliot, Liam, uh, Serrera, Perdicious, and Zaft, they are the ones that sleuthed around and deep dove and did all of the heavy lifting in finding the image and uncovering its true location and origination. So full credit goes to them for this hard work. I'm just the messenger. I'm just the backrooms boy who's made 500 videos about this topic. I'm not an internet sleuth. Well, for backrooms I am, but not for this. So they deserve a huge round of applause for finding this. I I cannot believe it happened. Um, Y'all are awesome. Y'all are so, so much smarter than I am. With all that out of the way and how the image got found, where the image comes from, where the location itself is, now I kind of want to get into part two, which is the history of the actual building itself, what it used to be called, why it looks like it did, and all sorts of things regarding that. So let's get into part two. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Don't wanna drag the video on any longer, so don't worry about it. Let's get into it. A furniture store called Roners was the original business that occupied this location. The building itself was built back in 1914, which is a long time ago, and Roners occupied it until the late 1990s. And the entire time Roners occupied it, it was a furniture store, and that's likely when the strange carpet and the strange wallpaper was put up. It just seems very mid-1900s. In 1994, the furniture store was sold to the current business that is there, and from 1994 to 2003, the current business had that backrooms area as their second story. It was just right above the first floor, their second story. In 2003, the owner of that business, as you saw from the website, had to remodel the upstairs due to water damage and just wanted to remodel it in general, thus tearing out the wallpaper and the carpet and perhaps even some of the walls of the original backroom's place and changing it into an open RC racetrack that it is now. So in late spring of 2003, when they posted that image to their website, kind of cataloging what they were gonna do and remodeling, that was the first and the last known images of the backrooms. Since from that day forward, the actual location was no more due to it getting remodeled and updated. This is what it looks like now. It's a racetrack. And I was also able to be in a group chat with someone who went to the store, vlogged around, recorded it. That was super cool. Again, thank you all so much for inviting me to that. It's very strange to know that this backrooms image location spawned all it did. It's, it's crazy. Again, don't go harassing this place, okay? So that was the history of the backrooms building the real life location. It was a furniture store, now it's an RC racetrack store and, and toy store, and it was remodeled in 2003 due to flooding. Well, water damage, I don't know if it's flooding or not, but you get the gist. So now I'm kind of in part three of the video where I wanna talk about the impact that finding this lost media, the original Backrooms post, the original location in real life, how that's gonna affect the Backrooms community and creepypasta genre as a whole. Now, I and many others have spent literally years in this fan base, kind of delving into the lore, being enthralled with it, and just really <laughs> being ingrained in the community. I've been here for four years. I made 500 videos on it. You know, I know the backrooms. I love the backrooms. It's what I do. I have a YouTube's plush of my backrooms creature. You know what I'm saying? And the finding of this image makes me feel like an old man watching his kids go off to college. It kind of feels like this creepypasta has grown up and been expanded to so many people that now everything has just been solved about it. And it's very it's very emotional in a weird way. The internet is a powerful place full of very resourceful and very smart people like Simliot, Liam, Serrera, Pernicious Redux, Zaft, and Pharrell McGuire, and, and everybody else who was involved in digging up things and newspaper clippings and old findings and old permits and everybody involved. It was a group effort. You know, sometimes a community can come together for good and find things like this. I mean, they literally found the original location of the backrooms. This is a mystery that's been pending for a long time, even though that guy back in 2019 found it, just no one knew. You know, even with the bumps in the roads, even with the false leads, even with the mistakes on my end and other people's ends, we still found it. 
well, they still found it. I was watching. At the end of the day, it is another internet mystery that we can put to rest. I want to personally thank everybody that was involved in this legendary search. I think this will truly go down as a legendary and, and historical moment in internet horror history. And I just want to thank you all so much for putting in the work. I mean, that it was hours and days and months of work and you all deserve all the credit. So shout out to Simliot, Liam, Serrara, Perdicious Redux, and Zaft, and Pharrell McGuire, and any, anybody else I'm missing that would have helped, because those are the main people, the core people, who were really involved in this search, and they did so much work for this, and they kept me in the loop, they were nice enough to show me the information, and just, and just keep me around, and I really appreciate that so much. Every piece of credit, they deserve it, okay? I also want to thank the uh, current business owner of the location for being forthcoming and cool and just, just downright awesome with this entire situation you know again they didn't have to be cool like that they could have just shunned it down and not talked to anybody about it but they were forthcoming with the information and they were cool about it and they were just just really honestly they were kind of intrigued they had no idea that their location was that i mean they literally took the picture that changed youtube and changed the creepypasta genre changed my life one single picture led to millions of views millions of fans of a giant creepypasta that one picture did all that and i just i just have to say thank you thank you so much spring of 2003 will literally go down in history as when the original backroom picture was taken and posted and i'm proud of the fact that i got to witness all this search unfold it was awesome thank you the, the viewers for watching all my videos and, and watching me dive into the backrooms for the last four years and 500 videos and 150 shorts it's, it's just been crazy this entire entire community this entire movement of the back rooms it's just been awesome you guys are the best fans ever i couldn't ask for anything more you know liminal spaces in the back rooms these are the things i know and i'm so proud of the community we've built and it's, it's, i just cannot wait to continue it further and continue to explore these back rooms even for years to come some might say that the image location being found ruins the entire premise or that it kind of like took away from the secret and the hidden nature about it but to that i say a thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in a few days in the next video. Peace.